Brian Powell of I Run Far here with Jody Adams Moore and uh, Chrissy Mail before the 2014 Trans Volcano. How are you, ladies? Good. Long way from the Pacific Northwest, eh? It is. <laughs> <laughs> uh, both of you are from Washington originally, correct? Correct. And uh, I can feel the ocean. <laughs> yeah, you are. Yeah, just <laughs> like uh, Bellingham or uh, a little warmer. A little warmer, yeah. A so, little more volcano. A little more volcano. <laughs> So Jody, I'll start with you. You uh, you're relatively new to the longer distance uh, trail running stuff. Um, what's it like going out? Did you see your first 50 mile? What was that like? It was uh, it was a good first attempt. Um, it got really hard halfway through when I was like, I, if I was running a 50k, I'd be about done. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm excited to try a second, um, especially here in this place. It's already like such a, a dream. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm gonna wake up and be like, that was a crazy dream I just had. But I'm really excited. Um, feel really well rested from um, the last race, and very thankful that I get to be here and try it again on this um, crazy, crazy island. Yeah. What brings you out here? You know, you did did just try your run your first 50 miler, and it's only a couple weeks later. Mm -hmm. Why so soon? Um, well, this was the goal was to get to do this race, um, okay. and I, I thought after um, in between Chuckanut and this race that maybe it would be good to try the distance and um, use it as a learning experience. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I didn't overexert myself at Lake Sonoma, so um, you're ready to this go. This was kind of the goal, the goal race for the year. Really? For me. Yeah, right. to get to get to come here and try it out. And Chrissy, you've been doing these things for 14 years now. On my 14th. Yeah, you just passed your truck and nut anniversary. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, what keeps bringing you back to these, you know, high-level competitive ultras? Oh, that's not it. The people, yeah. really. I found, when I found trail running, I found the people that, it's like full circle. I put energy into running, but this community keeps bringing it back. And then the places you get to go and travel, in 14 years, I can't remember a race that I've run where I'll be surrounded by an ocean the entire time, let alone the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> it's just, it kind of, yeah, it's like a dream. Like every time you wake up in a new spot, it's like, where am I? Am I at home? Or... And some of those dreams are challenging, and some are. You just yeah. went to India summer for uh, a stage race. Summer, not to say that India was <laughs> no, but it was the summer a challenge. Yeah, hard. yeah, yeah. The country and the traveling um, so far, and being in airplanes and cars and vehicles, and the, uh, the contrast of culture and everything. It was definitely a challenge. So the 30 hours to get to La Palma is easy in comparison. It was just different. We were yeah. there was nine of us traveling together, right? It ended up being about nine people mm -hmm. on the. By the time we like oh, tag teamed man. with everybody <laughs> in Chicago and Madrid, and just got more and more exciting. The energy builds. And yeah. So you've been again, like you've been all over the world trail running and ultra running, um, and obviously there's awesome people from all these different countries that it's fun to connect with. But is it nice having that little bit of home and familiarity in the process? Like traveling with those, all those Americans, definitely, totally different. I traveled by myself a lot, so that was a that was more of a unique experience. A lot of fun. Um, it must be fun also seeing people like Jody, you know, coming in here with such you know fresh perspective and you know. It's awesome. I feel so lucky to get to hang out with yeah, like what? yeah, Christy. Yeah. <laughs> like, you get to know her a, but be around someone who's been around this for a long time. So. Um, you guys are sort of have a chuck and a connection. You've run the 50k a couple times, and you're now the race director and was running it with your mm -hmm. first ultra, right? Mm -hmm. was my was it your first ultra? Um, no. no, no, but yeah. close enough. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and we probably both have passion for those tra the trails where I'm training currently training now. So yeah. it's cool. <laughs> so yeah, what what about those Pacific Northwest trails, those Washington trails? Really, was it the trails that got you going? Uh, over me? Yeah, or both of you. I, I mean, I think the people in the trails, I mean, meeting Scott Jerk right after he won, won his first Western States, dragging me out on Cougar Mountain and Tiger, and then convincing me to run my first ultra on a mountain that was like 14 miles from where I grew up. Like, hmm. That's where I cut my teeth, the Pacific Northwest. I know how to run on mud. I do not know how to run on snow. That's been the biggest challenge living in Boulder and learning the different terrain and harder technical trails. And Probably not a, I had a lot of experience for either of you on volcanic pumice. No. no. <laughs> uh, Chrissy, you've been doing this again for 14 years. Any advice to someone who's, you know... No, she's great. She knows <laughs> what she's doing. <laughs> You're no rookie to running or, or competing. You've been yeah. doing this for quite a while. Um, 
What are you guys most excited about this weekend? Jody? Seeing this island, being up high on it, seeing the ocean down below, um, and experiencing um, the European flavor of everything. Um, being around all these different languages and all these runners from different places, it's very exciting. And seeing if, how well I can do this, because <laughs> yeah. it sounds really hard. <laughs> Yeah, I think I just keep picturing that view and looking for that 360 view of ocean. Probably stop me in my tracks. <laughs> There'll be a few of those actually, because you're, you're running that ridge line for so long. Yeah, that just blows my mind. So that's what I'm looking forward to, awesome. just being up there. And the, the video from last year was super. I don't really watch race videos or look at stuff. I should, but I actually watched that video start to finish a couple times because it's just the start with all those lights and everybody taking off and. And the views, it just looks amazing. Well, ladies, enjoy this weekend and best of luck. Thank you. Right.